I mean, like your track record on that show, I got to imagine the ones you actually invest in. You it's probably, pretty good. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's really good. I mean, some of them are, you know, basically the deals that I've done, I've done a 150, 200 Shark Tank deals over the years. Have yeah. you really? Uh, but, you know, they 20% end up being, 5% are just like, oh, my God, right? 20% are pretty good. 50% are, you know, okay, middle in, whatever. And then whatever is 20, 30% are just, oh, my fucking God, how do I not, I not see you're such a moron, right? And, and you hate to say it, but, like, just dumb, dumb, dumb shit. And so... Yeah, I mean, I've got a good enough track record, and particularly for that, if it's right in your wheelhouse. I mean, that was crazy to me, yeah. I, I have a couple of questions about the show in general, uh -huh. and I don't know if you can disclose this, but I think maybe you can. Um, you guys have a more thorough overview of the business than what we see on TV, right? Yeah, we, I mean, we like know nothing about them. significantly more thorough, though? Well, yes and no. So we know nothing about them when they walk in the door. But if it's like a really... Um, intense business like charles probably told you they were probably on there for 45 minutes yeah and so then they edit that down to 10 to 15 minutes but if it's really intense and the, like there's a lot of us that are interested and maybe it's tech or whatever like some of those deals the longest is like two and a half hours some are two wow. hours and then you know it kind of goes if it's intense it's 60 to 90 minutes and if it's just stupid it's 20 minutes got it um my other question is is that is the money that each of you are individually investing, is that 100% entirely your money? 100%. Or does the show, like, match you? No. 100%. No, there's none of that. Yeah, we get paid a salary, but, yeah, I always spend more than our salary. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I always wanted that. Because yeah. when they have people on, right, like a, a guest no, it's their shark, money too. right, that's yeah. their money. Like when Charles Barkley came on, he's like, this is really my money? Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I feel like that would be a dangerous situation. And Charles and I did a deal together. We got one called Subsafe. Right? It's just a little plastic thing. Like, if you go boating or whatever, you want yeah. to put subs, chips, or whatever in it. Wine. And it's great, right? And so they're killing it. <laughs> killing it. Sub safe. Sub safe. How much, how much at this point is it, like, for you? Obviously, you're looking for the next great idea for yourself. But, like, I, I got to imagine it's more fulfilling for you to, like, promote and help oh, entrepreneurs yeah, that, far more than it is. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. not even that. It's more, like, teaching kids about business, yeah. letting, letting kids know that the American dream is alive and well. Yeah, That's legitimate. why I do the show, yeah. right? Because like doing the show, like I, I go to shoot next week and I'll be there 15 days and then we'll do it again, maybe 15 or 20 days in September. And that's it. That's it. And, but the hard part is dealing with the companies. Right. Like I, I, I've, I've got this one deal and sometimes like there's a TV part of the deals where it's like normally not a deal I would do, but it really sends a good message. So I'll put up the money and do whatever. And sometimes they forget that they have to work, you know, and I start getting these emails. Right, they think like, it's over once they do. Yeah, the, yeah, but yeah. They, it's like, no, we're, I, like I have this one company, um, Hickaway, H-I-C-C-A-W-A-Y. And it's brilliant. It's just like this little specialized, not straw, but like square thingy that, if you, if you have the hiccups and you put it in water and you suck through it, your hiccups are gone 95% right. of the time. That's like, insane. Like my son just had hiccups the other day and it's like, bam, gone. 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 And so, you know, they saw like huge, you get a huge bump when you come on Shark Tank. I'm yeah. like, but you can't just like depend on that all the time. So you got to remind them. But when you have a great product like that, it, it, it figures itself out because word of mouth picks up. Right. But, you know, I there's just going to be deals where, I just do it because it's the right reason, you yeah. know, and it's not charity because I always believe that, like, I'm, I'm like, you know, you walking out, you always think that next shot's going in, yeah. right? And I always think that next business is going to hit it no matter what. I love Were that. you part of a Scrub Daddy? No, no, it was not. But that, where, that one, where's that rank? Are there bigger deals? Yeah, now? a lot bigger deals now. More yeah. successful. Brands. Yeah, because Scrub Daddy does a lot of top line revenue and has got its great business. I don't want to take them, but the, um, the biggest deal was not one of mine. It was Barbara Corcoran's um, called the Huggy, I think it was called, where it was one of those deals where you like big, comfy type thing. And it's oh, like yeah, a knockoff yeah, of this yeah, other yeah. one. I forget what it's uh, called. The Snuggy. Snuggy. Yeah, yeah. knockoff yeah, yeah, of the yeah, Snuggy. Yeah, yeah. The guys came in. All they had was a prototype. And you know, like when someone walks in the door, my first thought is trying to find a reason not to do it because <laughs> right. I already have too many deals, right? Yes. And these guys kept on talking, and they only had these prototypes that they gave to each one of us. And they were comfy, and they were cool. But I'm like, no, nah, they're not far enough along. Barbara is like, okay, I'll give you 50 grand for like a third of the business. And they were like, sure. These motherfuckers 
as of two years ago, not even this year, two years ago, had sold $150 million. Oh. Barbara herself, oh Barbara herself made $37 million oh, off of 50K. 50K investment. It was just like, ah! It's pretty good wow. ROI. Yeah, that's, yeah, no. you know. That's insane. That was insane. Uh, I'm looking for my next huggy. I got to find that. No one. kidding. I got to right? find my next right. huggy. And then, then she's still collecting checks. I mean, Barbara, yeah, Barbara's amazing, right? She can't add eight plus eight, <laughs> but she knows people really, really well. Right. So, you know, everybody's got the skill you got to play to. And that's what it's